guys, what's up? It's Jace from Pro Show TV, and I'm back again with another video. And today's video is going to be a top five games that's coming up in 2015 and 2016. I hope you guys enjoy. So coming in the number five spot for me has got to be Star Wars Battlefront. It's going to be released on November 17th, 2015, on PC and next gen. It's based on the original three movies, which means it's going to be no Star Wars Clone Wars, which so far it's not going to be into the game but it might be added in a DLC we are not sure it's by far the best looking Star Wars game that has ever been released and probably for a while into the future as EA have made it themselves they're always known for making brilliant games the game was designed for anyone that can play meaning by this you don't need to learn to play the game so you can just pick up the controller and start playing it in my eyes, I'm not really looking forward to the game as I'm not really into Star Wars, but I probably will end up playing it because the game does look good and it's just something different that's able to play. Anyway, I'm going to let the footage roll in the background and I hope you guys enjoy it. Right, so coming in the number four spot, it's got to be Hitman. Hitman is a really good series. If you haven't played it before, you've definitely got to play it again. It's going to be released on December 8th, 2015 on PC and Next Gen. If you've played Hitman before, you may not have, but if you have, you'll know that you'll be playing as Agent 47. That's still going to carry on in this one. The game has gone back to when it was open world, like Hitman Blood Money. This means that you can go into a room, find out who the bad guy is, and take him out. <laughs> uh, they've, they've also said that there is 26 ways to kill that bad guy within 20 minutes of the game, meaning that there's going to be many, many, many ways you can take out people, and I'm pretty sure most of them are going to be fun. <laughs> so number four spot's got to be Hitman. Yep, definitely you got to be Hitman. Coming in the number 3 spot guys has definitely got to be Dishonored 2, it's going to be released sometime in 2016, we're not sure on an exact date yet. In this Dishonored you can either play as em Emily Coldwin or Corvo, uh, it's set 15 years after the previous game, and to be honest with you guys I haven't played the previous game so I'm not sure what I'm looking into, but by looking at the trailer I can say I'm definitely looking forward to this game, and I hope you guys will too. In the number two spot guys it's definitely got to be just cause three it's going to be released on 1st of december 2015 on next gen and pc uh the guy that you play as i'm not going to pronounce his name as i can't returning back to the island of Pidici, where general v rivolo or whatever his name is is on the path to world domination as most generals are nowadays if you haven't played these before they're pretty much a gta on cocaine i'm telling you they've got grappling hooks and jets what can you do we had no idea <laughs> if you're thinking of getting this game or not thinking at all 
I would say definitely get this game as you will not be disappointed. This game is so much fun to play. That is why I'm putting it in the number two spot. Here we are finally at the number one spot and guys I'm telling you this game is definitely going to be good. The game that is hit the number one spot is definitely Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands also known as Wildlands. Um, we don't know much about this game we don't even know the release date the release date is going to be sometime in 2016 as we know as I said before, I have no idea much about this game at all other than the trailer makes the game look really really good. That's pretty much it guys, the, I'll just let the footage roll and you guys can see for yourselves. This game definitely does look good and I definitely advise buying this game if you are thinking of getting anything along the lines of this. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to rate, comment, like and subscribe and like this last bit I guess. Yeah, adios.